What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm making unicorn banana bread. So of course some of the things that you're going to need for the unicorn banana bread is a um, stick of butter, granulated sugar, eggs, three ripe bananas, two cups of flour, baking soda, salt, rainbow sprinkles. You'll also need for the vanilla icing, unsalted butter, you'll need powdered sugar, vanilla extract, and sprinkles for the topping. The first thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 375 and spray it with non-sticking spray. First thing we're going to do is cream together the butter and the sugar. Okay, so Skylar has the three, he needs to count out the three ripe bananas that we need on the table. We only need three. Um, so I'm going to stir up the butter that's been sitting out at room temperature and the sugar Why? until it gets fluffy. Why? So we basically cream together the butter and the sugar until it's light and fluffy. Fluffy. Yeah, well, cause what goes in a beer bears? Cause I really like beer bears. The oven is. Where oven, oven is, is ready. ready. Me and you the same, mommy. Oh no. Okay, Skylar's gonna beat the two eggs using a fork in a smaller bowl. And then we're going to add it to the sugar and butter mixture. Oh, it's making a mess. <laughs> Mix up the eggs, you guys. Okay, so we just poured in the egg mixture that Skylar had beat up and we mixed it and it is ready for us to put to the side. Next we are going to mash the three bananas that Skylar got out of the refrigerator. As we're finishing mashing the bananas, we're going to add them to the mixture. But make sure you get all the parts mashed so we can put it into the mixture. Alright, Sky is going to now stir up the butter, the sugar, and the eggs, and the bananas while I go gather the flour, baking soda, and salt.
Okay, so now we're going to add in the one teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, so I'm going to add in one cup of flour. Scarlett's going to stir that up while I get cup number two ready. Better be real careful. There's lot in here. Okay, so I'm going to add in cup number two of flour. And I'm going to mix it up this time just to make sure that it's fully mixed and ready for us to add in the sprinkles. So Skylar is going to pour in some sprinkles and I'm going to start. Like that a lot. We're done with those. We might be able to add some on top with the icing. Okay, so oh, it should. when you are done, your mixture should look just like that. Okay, so then we're going to put it into a loaf pan. I like to use this long one so that it can be cut into the long way. So of course I just pour it. Then it can spread by itself. It will. Let's see. Mm hmm because I never seen one spread by itself that way. It will, it will look so fabulous. Yep, and then the icing goes on top. So, 
So we're going to get some bread and then some icing and then we have to pour some on. So this is going to make bread, yep. And then we have to make the icing while it is in the oven. Look at all these sprinkles in there. Okay, so I got basically majority of it out. Okay. There we go. So now it's ready to go into the oven on 375 for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you're going to want to reduce your heat to 350 and bake it for an additional 20 to 30 minutes. So see you back when it's ready. Okay, so while I have about five minutes before I have to change the temperature on the oven, I'm going to do the vanilla icing mixture. So of course here I have butter. Um, and I'm just going to... Course, just smash it down it's melted um, and then you're going to need to add powdered sugar so as you can see here I got my powdered sugar I need to measure it to a cup and of course one bag is not enough. So I have backup. All right. So of course, after cleaning up a mess, I just like to shake it. Here's our one cup of powdered sugar. Okay, so I'm just going to add in a little bit of powdered sugar first, just to mix up with the butter. So of course, after mixing up the butter and the powdered sugar, I need to add in half a teaspoon 
of vanilla extract. Into the mix. And it makes a small amount, which is fine because you'll have just this little small batch of unicorn banana bread. Ta da! So I have my icing in the bag. So thanks for watching me make this unicorn banana bread. I appreciate if you could go and like and subscribe to the channel so that you can see what I'm going to be doing next.